Hello and welcome to our dedicated feed of the 2022 World Athletics Championships Women's Long Jump Final. Long jump world final. Well, there is another look at those well, three pieces of metal work. So here are First our athletes that will contend Brazil, this World Brazil, Championship Brazil, final. Brazil, Leticia, Leticia Orlo Melo from Brazil. Oh, she didn't leave it till that third round to qualify for this up, final. The world finalist, Tiffany the Flynn US from the US. You can see her season's best, personal best, and world ranking there. Really interesting NCAA information. For Texas a representing Ruth Nigeria. Arozo from Nigeria. She's took her place in this final. She was second at the Nigerian Championships. A double Olympic well, Brooke Bushkul, Australia. she comes Brooke into this Bushkul. final with the world's furthest jump. Double Olympian a double from Olympic Tokyo and Rio, as is Jasmine Island. Sawyers Jasmine from Great Sawyers. Britain. She is always there or thereabouts, one of the smallest athletes on the circuit. When the she African flies, my goodness, does she go out a long way to this pit. Esme Brume, she is the Nigerian champion. She'll be looking for one of those medals. Lorraine Ugin there from Great Britain. Never won an outdoor global medal, but she's backed herself a couple on the indoor equivalent. Kashisha Burks from the US, so strong in this event. Men and women. Again, they've got two the women represented here. Katie Sagnier then of Sweden. Can she claim her first global medal? She has a European Four indoor one, great. never a global one. Marina Beck Romachuk from Ukraine. She is the reigning silver medalist. The triple the jump didn't go to plan, but she gets another chance Serbia, here. Ivana Buleta. Ivana Buleta there from Serbia. Well, she is the Serbian national treasure. So and many medals Ivana under her belt. Never a world title, and though. World champion, and here world is the reigning world champion, Alba. reigning Olympic champion. The woman with the best personal best, 7 meters 30, Michaela Mahambo from Germany. Quinesha Burks then. Personal best just short of 7 meters. She did get a season's best here in qualification for this final. You can see it there on the graphic, 6.86. Here we go then, Quinesha Burks. Nice and flowing down that runway. Again, a green flag. Well, a lot of these women are going for some nice safe jumps to start their competition. Sometimes she just veers off to the side, but that wasn't one of those occasions. We go 646. Well, a good start for all three of these women Sawyers, Flynn, and Burks. Bushkul, cool then. What can she do? Seven meters 13, she has gone out to this season. can't imagine what she's had to go through all those years without that personal best. Here she goes, full commitment. Let's just look what flag she gets. And again, great start to this competition. It's another green one. She works so hard, doesn't she? on that runway, tries to generate as much speed as she can. Oh, look at that, less than three centimeters. What has she gone out to? 6.57 is the answer. Remember, all of these women get three attempts. And at the end of the third round, they make the cut and the top eight will get a further three attempts. So Beck Romanchuk, reigning World Championship silver medalist. 
Nice and measured approach, but I'm just looking at that board. Oh, and that was a good jump. I was waiting for that green flag. I've put the curse on some of these athletes in other qualification rounds. She really uses those long legs of hers to really extend out into the pit. Well, I think that looks like it could be the furthest so far. Indeed it is, six meters 79. There's a broom then from Nigeria, racking up the medals. There was a bronze in Tokyo. There was a bronze in Doha. There was a silver this year in Belgrade at those World Indoor Championships. How she would love to upgrade those medals. asking the crowd come on get behind me as a broom knows that a jump in excess of 679 would put a top of the leaderboard real advantageous if you can get a good one in really early in the competition put the pressure on the rest That looked six and a half meters, maybe a little bit more. She has got the green flag. So much control on that board. Absolutely fascinating how these women know the exact rhythm, the exact pace to come down that runway. Be able to find that accuracy to hit the board. And of course, all the technical accuracy then comes into it as well looking at her stature she's one of the smallest in this competition really similar to jasmine sawyers really economic down that runway well that looked good for the south american champion 664 was actually a personal best yesterday beaten a personal best just by one centimeter so what a way to make your first global championships by going out to a personal best let's look at that one that looked pretty good to me and in fact 689 well what has she done That is 25 centimeters advancement on her lifetime best in round one at the World Championships. What a time to do it. Well, Ivana Buleta, world ranking number one, as you can see. Amazing personal best, amazing season's best. So, so consistent, this athlete. And if that is a green flag, well, Unfortunately not, and you see her, she says, if only. <laughs> Quinesha Burks. 6.86 yesterday in qualification. It was 6.46 in the first round. So we know she's got a big jump in her. Personal best of 100 meters, 11.19 seconds. So pretty swift in its own right. Real interesting run up from Burks. She tries to get as much of that 11.19 momentum as she can. See her almost like a sprinter's acceleration and drive. And I think she's certainly the quickest competitor on that long jump run up. And it is a green flag. That is going to be an improvement for Quinesha Burks. It does have a tendency to drift off towards the left hand side. She controlled that one quite nicely. See those feet landing underneath her. Well, six meters 88, that puts her in second position.
That's the season's best, in fact. A couple of centimetres better than what she did yesterday morning in qualification. So Brooke Bushkull, 7 metres 13. That was in Chula Vista in the US. That was only some two, two and a half weeks away. Some really good shape coming into this World Championships. There's the acceleration, there's the drive. And if that's a green flag, and it is, that looks like a good jump. Here we go, let's take another look. She just sights that board. Oh, and that's a huge improvement. 6.57 in the first. Generates so much power on takeoff. There we go, 6 metres 87. Well, this event has really caught fire in the second round. 6.89, 6.88, 6.87. A Brumi then, the Nigerian national champion. 661 in the first. Well, that was certainly better as long as she gets that green flag. And she does. Bronze medalist from Tokyo. In Tokyo, she did become the first Nigerian to win an Olympic medal in athletics in 13 years. So I'm sure that medal was uh, celebrated back home in Nigeria. Oh, and what about that? Six meters 88. That puts her in second position, courtesy of that better second jump. Ivana Buleta then. She doesn't want to put herself in the same fate as Mahambo. She doesn't want to go into the third round not having a valid attempt. Second round then, Ivana Buleta from Serbia. Here she goes. Well, it is a green flag. And that certainly looks enough to put her in that top eight at the end, veering towards the end of round two. So much power. She absolutely kicks up a huge hole in the sand pit, doesn't she? And indeed, 6.67. Goleta is in sixth position. Katie Sagner then. She likes to be called Candy. That's what all her friends call her. Last competitor in round two. Foul in the first. How she would love to get out to that season's best of 6.95. She isn't the fastest on the runway. She does get herself a green flag. Again, just like Bluetta, that should be enough to put her up in that top eight. Feed off over to the left hand side during that run up. Well, that was definitely what you call a safety jump. She gave 10 centimetres away. That was 6.69 in sixth position. So here is her teammate, Quanisha Burks. She has no worries about trying to get in that top eight. Currently sat in second position, thanks to that 6.88 in the second round. Exactly the same distance as Eze Brume. In fact, in joint second, 
and forget an Oro Mello's 6.89, just one centimetre further than both of those athletes, Broom and Perks. There's that unique, almost winding up like a motorcycle, isn't it? Let's get it going so, so fast on this runway. Well, that will not improve. That's 6.88. but it is a green flag. So I think that was signaling of, I'm leaning back at the board, I need to be more active with that foot. Get more height. It's a Brume though. She's having a great evening so far. 6.88 in a second. She's currently in a silver medal position. Still the early stages, of course. She certainly give herself a shot of a world championship medal. was good but was it good on the board always difficult you try to gauge these athletes reactions and it was good on the board this could be a huge jump there's a brume what have you gone out to there just looking at that graphic was it over seven meters well, I can hear lots of screams, I can hear lots of cheers, and indeed it was seven metres and two centimetres. As Brune has put a marker down in this World Championship final. Really nice to see Ruth Usoro, her teammate, after her own disappointment. She can find that excitement for a country woman. So, a humbo here. All or nothing. Third round. She needs to get a jump in. She needs to get over six meters at 62. What can she do? The whole stadium are watching this one. Here she goes, the Hambo of Germany, reigning world champion. Oh, and that one. And it looked good. She's waiting this time. She's waiting to see the flag. And it is a green flag. And not only has Mahambo got herself in that top eight, she looks like she could well have got herself into a medal position. Look at that leg extension on takeoff. She doesn't gain the most height. But she does just hang there. Look at that extension. She's a tall athlete, really rangy. Let's look at that. Six meters, 98. Come on! So, Mahambo, she put herself through the ringer, didn't she? She put all of her fans around through the ringer on those first two jumps with fouls. Just short of seven meters in the third round. 6.98, good enough for the silver at the moment. Oh, I'm looking at that graphic. That would tell me it's an excess of 7.02, which is currently leading. But let's see. Certainly really close to her 6.98. And Ezzy Broom 7.02. Well, I can hear the crowd clapping. Maybe they've seen it first. Oh, and 7.09 for Mahambo. Well, she makes seven meter jumping look so easy. I read a quote. She said, never has a seven meter jump been so important. When she got that gold medal in Tokyo, that came in the sixth round. 
it backs up that statement, doesn't it? It doesn't matter what happens, the competition is not over until you've had six attempts. Well, Eze Broom, she has just seen her lead get overhauled by Mahambo. So consistent so far, 661, 668, 702, she's been building. What can Broom do in the fourth round? And again, it's good. She's put in quite a good series of jumps back to back. It's another valid jump. Well, if there was jumps for consistency, she would certainly be winning at this point. But it doesn't matter about consistency, it just takes the one. We saw that in the men's long jump final. 6.86. Again, just backing these jumps up. So, four rounds completed. Ivana Vuletta is the first to go in the fifth round. Sitting in sixth position, courtesy of that 684. World Championship bronze medalist, Olympic bronze medalist, never won a gold in this event. Oh, she's getting close. That one looked really, really similar to a fourth attempt. 684. Just veering towards the right of that runway. Such a consistent performer. Diamond League final winner four times. 2014, 15, 17 and 21. And that was exactly the same as her best jump, 684. So no improvement for Buletta. Katie Signia then of Sweden. Six sixty-nine in the second round. The long stride in, almost a lope from Sagnia. That one looks good. That one could well be her best of this evening. Well, she was seventh in Beijing as a youngster in 2015, what, 21 at the time. That remains her best global outdoor performance. Currently sat in eighth position and no longer fifth position. 6.87 as will Beck Romanchuk. Only 22 Ukrainians on this World Championship team, but quality each and every one of them. And here she goes, Beck Romanchuk. Last attempt for World Championship glory. And she certainly went a long way out into the pits. And it is. A green flag. I think this might be her best jump of the evening. And so congested. Eighth place, 6.79. Seventh place, 6.84. Sixth place, 6.87. Fifth place, 6.87. Fourth place, 6.88. And that bronze medal, 6.89. Just 10 centimeters between all of those positions. And it is an improvement. It is 6 metres 82, but that is only good enough this evening. Such is the high depth of quality in this women's long jump final for eighth position for Beck Romanchuk. For Aleta then, last attempt for her, 6.84. We know she's got a big jump in her. And I think that is not going to be enough to get on that podium. I think she might know it herself. And it is a green flag. Well, it is a testimony to all of these women who do 
managed to produce a good jump, a clean jump. They get the green flag on this last round. When you have got to produce the biggest jump of this competition and you manage to hold it together, and get that green flag. But 6.75, Ivana Vuleta will not add that World Championship title to her repertoire this year, unfortunately. Well, Ruth, Ruth, you sorrow. I think I got her mixed up earlier with Esme Broom. I think she was still having a word with herself. She was disappointed with her own performance. She has stayed around to support a teammate. Katie Sagnia then. Six positions so far, 687. Same jump as Boosh Cool from Australia. There is that long stride. I think that could well be a foul for Sagnia. Yep, yeah, she knows it. She thanks the crowd for their participation this evening. And they have played a big part in this. They've responded when any of the athletes have asked them to. She almost went a little bit off balance there, didn't she, on the second look at that one. She was really leaning forwards. Oh, that was a foul by just over four centimeters. She's just given her mom a huge hug there. So congratulations to both of them. Sixth position, that is Sagnia's best finish in a global event. Bouge cool then. That's 687 in the second round. She only needs two centimetres to get in the medal winning position. She knows she's capable. She'll be disappointed if she doesn't go away with a medal from this one. Coming here as world leader. Oh, that was a big jump, but also a big foul. Well, the grimace on the face of Brooke Bouchkul. What could have been? But fifth position in a global final is an amazing achievement for her. Remember, that's six years and four months that she had to wait for that personal best. And Russell, the father, deserves a huge pat on the back as well. These guys have stuck it out over the test of time. I'm sure their moment will come in an athletics arena in the non too distant future. That's a nice moment for the pair of them. Cornisha Burks then. We talked about Brooke. Bush Cole just needed two centimeters. Cornisha Burks needs just the one. A single centimeter between herself and a bronze medal at this World Championships. Cornisha Burks will need all the composure and some more to nail this sixth and final attempt. Here she goes. Sixth round, Kanisha Burks. Well, not to be this evening for Kanisha Burks. It was a green flag. She has put together, I'm going to say, one of the only athletes to get all six valid jumps. Just looking down at my computer system. Yep, she is the only athlete to get six valid jumps. So congratulations to her for some unbelievable consistency. But those are our medalists, Oromelo, Broom and the Hambo. So Oromelo already improved her personal best by some 25 centimeters. She's going to need another personal best, another 14 centimeters to improve the color. Now that is not to be. <laughs> what about that for a series of jumps? 6.89 followed by five fouls. But the Brazilian is going to have a medal hold round her neck very, very shortly. Oh, so, 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 so close. 
Well, I hope we see some celebrations here. I hope she can let her hair down. I hope she can go wild, because that is an absolutely magnificent bronze medal. You can see the excitement from the coach. I think sometimes you just have to keep your composure through these events when other athletes can respond. And Oromello did so, so well to keep that composure. There's a broom like she has for the last few jumps. She's asking the crowd, come on, guys. I need something special here. I need a season's best. I need to find my peak shape just when I need it at this World Championships. 7.02 so far for Broom. She'll need 7.10. Can she find those extra few centimeters? And the answer to that, unfortunately, for Eze Broom is no. Well, it is a green flag. It was another significant jump into that pit. Six eighty-eight, and she's also put a six eighty-six on the back of that seven oh two. Several jumps that were good enough. Oh, and six ninety-one. That in itself would have been good enough for the silver medal. Here's a broom. Upgrades oh, her bronze from Tokyo and her bronze from Doha with a silver medal. Well, what about this woman? A hambo. She is very much making this event her own these days. There were doubts about her form coming into this final. Certainly, there was no hot favorite for this women's long jump final. But Mahambo brought it when it mattered most. 7.09 in the fourth round. 7.98 in the third to back that up. So the first and third best distances of this long jump competition. What can she do in the sixth? Well, Let's look if she gets that green flag, and she does! Well, is that in excess of the 7.09? Let's have a look, but what a way to finish the competition with another absolutely outstanding jump. Well, any time you jump over seven meters, it's incredibly special. Could she have done it twice in this competition? This woman did 7.02. Can we have seen three jumps in excess of the seven <laughs> meters? Well, that is our winner. Nice to see yeah. her. Oh. And it is equal 7.09 again. Yuli Knapp, the Germany's national women's long jump coach, and now the personal coach to the double. She will love me saying that, the double world champion. Well, lovely scenes as these athletes get that instant medal moment. It's been a new addition to this championships and one that I know all the athletes who's won those medals have absolutely relished. I'm surprised she still has any spring in those legs after she's hauled herself down that runway six times. 6.98, 7.09 and 7.09 for the second time. Well, it's quite a series of jumps. Oromelo, she is taking a women's long jump medal back to Brazil. I certainly would not have expected that. Thought, as many I'm sure did, thought she'd done incredibly well to qualify for this final. 6.89, a personal best. Well, she lived on dangerous ground. Two fouls in the qualification round, then a 
that got her to the final in 11th position. And they say, never look at the qualification rounds. It's a blank canvas. She's come away the third best woman in the world on the day when it mattered Woo! the most. We made it one record. <laughs> Woo well, there'll be celebrations in Brazil, as there will in Nigeria. But Germany, wow, they really needed that one, didn't they? Not had a great championships, the Germans. There was some success last night in the women's ball by 100 meters. The German quartet came home with a bronze medal. But great to see all these women enjoying it. And I think we'll be able to wrap up the full results now. So here we go, the 2022 Women's Long Jump Final World Championships. Mahambo takes the gold, Eze Brume the silver, Oro Mello the bronze, Kanisha Burks just missed out on that podium by one centimeter, Brooke Bushkul just two centimeters, as did Sagne, Vuleta just missing out on those medals, five centimeters, and here we go. This is Orozuru of Nigeria and Tiffany Flynn. They only had enough this evening for 11th and 12th position.